you already know, Big Flocker with Convict Perspective, man. Um, I'm going to dive into this straight up, man. To the issue, very delicate matter that's been occurring on YouTube, man. Uh, due to someone having a very extreme platform, influence and power, and uh, there's been some actions by this individual that I'm going to get into regarding American control in a second. Uh, but first and foremost, I want to dive into some issues about this particular individual. Adam found out today. Now, some of these are allegations. Some of these are word of mouth admitted by him, by you know, of his actions. First and foremost, approximately in 2010, when, when, uh, when he went to Twitter channel, right, there were tweets, right, that were very, very much what you would in type of behavior. Okay, you get what I'm saying? Um, stuff towards children. Stuff that is not acceptable, okay? Stuff that you don't even joke around about, okay? He made comments that uh, about raped, right? Get over it. He made a comment about, uh, let me see, I'm going to pull up the comments to you word for word. And these were also in, a, in an interview that he did on Clubhouse where they confronted him, okay? These are the remarks he made. And I did not, I didn't like his response, bro. I'm a, I'm a convict. I, I, he said, can any high school students stop following me on instagram i have enough temptation in my life as it is so you're like 11 year old's dick okay my advice to any young girl out there much much older men getting raped is just a part of growing up the gay brooks is a case study in what happens when you combine bmx extreme athleticism agro genetics hanging out with my and he uses the n-word Okay, so he, he's made man, and the thing that's about it, right, is he tries to self justify that the internet was crazy at that time, and that saying some of the most outlandish stuff, and, and so forth. Okay, you could joke around to a certain extent. Some people made a couple of racial remarks, some people made religious remarks, and, and so, so forth, right, which are all sensitive subjects, right? But this right here, I would have to say, outweighs any race, any religion, period. When you're talking about 10 year old, 11 year old kids, right? And trying to think, that, oh, I was laughing. Funny. We thought it was funny. We're drunk and whoa, whoa. Hey, there ain't no excuse for that, man. That's a deviant type of behavior. Confronted about this. And one of his remarks that kind of stood out to me, right? That really made me question all this, right? Is when he's, I don't feel I owe an apology. You mean you're going to tell me with, with a platform that has 4 million people, which I, I can only imagine how many people family members them personally their kids their moms or whatnot their friends have suffered some type of sexual torment towards them and you're gonna don't feel you owe anybody apology because this is before you blew up nah that's a lame ass fucking come from straight up man okay look i have my own past and my own issues right i'm very transparent about that right or would account to what you did with your deviant type of behavior now about this even the the guest on the clubhouse whack was there and whack was on fucking hush i don't know if he feels like he needs your platform still or what actually on hush i will post this video in the description on, on this video and i'll also uh, post this uh this internet now these are coming word for word out of his mouth he's being confronted on all this stuff it ain't cut out and edited shame of this issue with what he did with american trollo which i'm gonna go into after this everybody has about American troll, but he's also got a little bit of momentum going right now. Okay, regardless of what you feel, regardless of what you feel about the Tiger video, some people feel hey, it wasn't that serious, but there was those that felt it was serious. I personally think the Garner Sala video, we should have been pushing back on that a long time ago. But regardless, he some type of adjustment and change. Why should why try to shape and assassinate this man's character based upon that up video? Yeah, he says some stuff that could be kind of fucking, you know, took an offense to. That's just his character. You know what I'm saying? And it is what it is. I mean, I've had my indifferences with him, man, but there's also, even with our indifferences, there's a, a believe it or not, okay? And um, on this issue, not that I think that the Tiger video is the way he was attacked when he started to have some type of momentum in what he's doing. See, that's a fucked up thing about it with that every time there's someone who starts to move forward, we always, in, we always, Cause some type of division. Now, this isn't about gangs or none of that stuff. Because someone made a comment, you know, uh, hey, you're from up north, you're a dropout. You know, the remarks that were made, those affect my kids, my family members, and so forth, and my friends. So fucking you 
gonna be fucking involved in this shit. Okay, so now take take that there. This has nothing to do with the suit. It has nothing to do with the. But it just happens to be that North Daniels and Sureños align with Rasa culture majority of them, and those are are still aligned with that Rasa culture, okay, and have that back backbone to support it. So those those are the this this right here affects uh, civilians, immigrants, and so forth. But fucking gangs, dropout actors, or inactives, we all gonna feel the same way about this fucking issue. Okay? Now. Look at these remarks by this piece of shit, dude, man. Right? Straight up. I, I used to be non-judgmental. Of, okay, he's he's just some fucking widow, doesn't know any fucking better from the East Coast and whatnot. There's no fucking joking with I if any of you guys out there on his four million, right? You guys really support folks around about fucking around with a 10-year-old girl or thinks it's fucking funny to be about rape. It makes a do you and puts it on Twitter and then doesn't even feel the need to apologize. Do you guys really fuck? Yeah, he's gonna make this fucking pl- this little fucking video about American Troll that was cut it up and edited out. Well, this shit needs to be put out there, man. You know what I'm saying? And um, you know, I'm not. Some people think you're attacking for clout chasing and whoa, whoa. Check this out. What the fuck am I gonna do? You think I'm on a clout chasing fucking up uh, editor? Regardless if he's joking around or not, you don't do that. If you're joking. It's gonna raise red flags towards you because you all your jokes were pertaining mainly to wasn't any other jokes, wasn't really no gay jokes, wasn't any of the, any of the, you know what I mean? It was all regarding kids. There's an issue. Maybe you got maybe you had some little tribal brotherhood within your fucking weirdo friends and shit, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, I mean, I know white, blacks, Asians, Hispanic, all those civilians, gangsters, or whatnot, do not support that type of behavior do not find it funny around about kids you don't joke around about rape you don't joke around about any of that type of shit okay and they actually try to put this fucking video on american trolling like i said kids outweigh any other fucking world person that's how i feel people may feel different they may feel race is more important no a kid a child is and you know one that's going to be you know what i mean what they learn today is going to affect them in the future you know and, and for people Man, fuck that, man. Motherfuckers got to drop that fucking dude. And you know what, man? Especially with the issue with fucking American Trollo. Whether you agree with American Trollo's actions, maybe you feel he's pushing the envelope. Maybe You know what I mean? Beside the point, he made some type of made some type of statement and stance that other people see. And now someone's trying to knock that fucking shit. That's the issue here. It has nothing to do with fucking anything else. But you got to do the behaviors. And he's also been accused... Two women have accused him. That was brought up in the view as well. Now, I'm going to break this down to you guys, right? You know, I play the prison investigations, right? And anybody out there that's ever held a position or, or assisted in investigations or ran one, what are the things that you look for when you're looking into a case? A pattern, a track record, and so forth. So when you have an individual who's making deviant type of statements, right, in your tweets, in your Twitters, accused of two other women because of these tweets and your actions and you're fucking nonchalant about it charges against you that much more believable straight up so I, you know i can't put the jacket on it right but i mean come on man we can insinuate and make assumptions and hypotheses all day you know what i'm saying and and, and this right here man it really irritated me man because i just got the videos i just got the uh i heard him talk about it and he thinks it's a fucking joke he thought we were laughing. It was funny. Oh, I read that was a statement. I don't give a fuck where you came from. You don't joke like that. You know what I'm saying? You know, kill your fucking capital or some shit like that, man. And now you're involving yourself in trying to create a, a to create division. You know what it is, man. This is what it is. You don't want anybody fucking on any of these other platforms to try to fuck time. That's what it's all about. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no fucking big platform, but I know with the, the genre that I fucking work working, the fucking I do make a statement, I do make a stance, and this is one of these other platforms. Hey, regardless, man, you know what I mean. You don't have to fucking like me, but respect the message and what I say. You know what I, mean? I don't like a lot of people, my damn self. But if someone's pushing a positive thing and trying to create some type of change, and ain't just you know what I mean. Hey, we all want views, we all want to make money. Let's keep it one hundred. But at the same time, though, 
we got to have a moral compass to stand by when it comes to certain issues. When it's bullshit, it's bullshit. And see, but no jumper. If y'all can support this shit, I don't know what the fuck to say. You got, I got, you got to check your own fucking skeletons. Your because this shit's fucking real. These statements are real. He even discussed it, and he had a nonchalant attitude. Not about it. You know what I'm saying? You don't joke around about fucking doing things to kids and thinking it's acceptable and thinking it's funny and fucking harming a child. That's what I don't get. What sick fucking perverted fucking mind would think is with a bunch of dudes that were probably giving each other fucking mamones all day? It's probably what was going on, man. Seriously. Anyways, man, uh, American Cholo now, like I said, there's been a lot of things that people run off for. We just, a lot of people got to get past that. The whole thing right now is the Rasa in general. I don't speak for no Rasa. This is just a suggestion. But personally, y'all, if y'all support no you need to cut that motherfucker off, man, and show and affect, affect his platform like they do on everything fucking else. Other people to affect American control. And you African brothers, too, as well, man. After you guys seen what has been done, yeah, give on the story about this and what not to put himself in position for it to be cut up. But y'all need to sit there and say, hey, who the fuck is this motherfucker, man? In general, the fucking the statements alone should make you want to cut this dude off. But walk the life you walk, whether you fucking to the G code or whether you're a fucking civilian. Nobody nobody finds any humor in talking about kids the way he fucking did it. Okay. Now, as a Rasta in general, and all this stuff that's been going on and so forth, like I said, whether you like him or not, whether he likes you or not. This is a time when motherfuckers need to get devil. This evil lurking motherfucking piece of shit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he can say everything why about me. I'm I fucking I've dealt with all kinds of shit in the last fucking couple of months, man. It ain't gonna fucking, you know what I'm saying? You know, it just isn't gonna change anything, man. You know what I'm saying? And I, I you know I'm take heed and pass the word, put that out there. You know what I mean? some homeboys watch our channels, you know, so they homeboys and whatnot, man. Fuck this fool. You know what I'm saying? Re listen to everything I'm gonna put in the description. Check it out, tap in. You know what I'm saying? And that dude do know you need to cut that motherfucker off, American Cholo, man. None you need to cut off that motherfucking uh uh Adam, especially if you fucking want any type if you want people in honorable eyes and, and with merit and stuff and doing the things you're doing in the community, don't support a motherfucker that thinks it's funny. Don't support a dude that hires people, whether he did or did. They're part of his team. Don't support no fucking a video out there like it, man. You need to cut that dude off, man. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? I know I know right now there's gonna be a lot of hint day that are gonna put pressure upon that, man. You need to rethink that, man. Where do you fucking stand in all that? The African brothers and all that, like like I said with Tiger. We I don't think Tiger, like I said this on my I don't think he had any intentions of disrespecting anybody at all with that song. You know what I'm saying? And that there's a lot of people who by it but that there was people that did he decided to take it down and much respect to him whether i feel about that whether it held merit or not I, that dude was sincere when he came about it man he had no intentions of disrespecting you know what i mean none at all i think it just was he wasn't thinking sometimes you got to remember they did songs right <laughs> that was that was to me was fucking that was very disrespectful especially how they the bottles in that in that shit, man. Like like they were dumb cholos and stuff. Oh yeah, come on, you know I mean? Come on now. Anyways, yeah, this is a quick spill. You know, I get a little animated when I see stuff like this because man, it fuck people fucking are that dumb to support a fucking idiot like this dude, man. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. You know, we have children. You have nieces. You have grandkids. You find and someone who finds joy in in laughter. In making these type of jokes about to a child, ask me that. Answer me that. I don't. I already heard him. He said that I don't have to apologize for anything. It was jokes. The internet. The internet was off the hook at that time, man. Anybody else that's making remarks like this over and over and over again, and Wack One Hundred was quiet on that. You know saying so? You guys need to holler at him about that. Watch it. It's on his. It was on his channel. I'm gonna post that link. The dude that ran the interview, he confronted them though. You know what I'm saying? On the clubhouse. That dude was straight confronting that dude. You know what I'm saying? And uh, like I said, man, you know, uh, 
this doctor shit needs, I mean, fuck, it's just fucking funny. It's hypocritical. Anyways, I'm going to let this, I'm going to air this video down. I'm already pumped up. Let's go.